At the Reno area's main sewage treatment plant, managing sludge is a full-time job. Semi-trucks continuously load up trailers full of sludge and haul it to the landfill. Yeah, we uh, actually produce between uh, 160 and 170 tons. That's every day. It takes about eight truckloads to move, costing almost a million dollars a year. Kind of wasteful, considering the sludge itself is about 85% water. This bubbling sand in a University of Nevada lab will fix that and it holds the key to turning sludge into fuel. The sludge is broken apart by the bubbling sand and it's heated quickly to produce dry granules. The dark bits you see in there are those granules which get shot out of the contraption. So this is the dried fuel. It may not look too impressive, but it burns hot, just like sawdust, and that's how it'll make electricity. It smells terrible, but for a different reason than you might think. In scientific terms, the sludge is dead bacteria, not poop. This is where those bacteria come from. The sewage plant actually adds them to the sewage to eat up all the waste inside. This is the sewage plant's finished product, water clean enough to put back into the Truckee River. The bacteria that helped clean it become the sludge. Before it's thrown out, it releases methane gas, which heats the plant's boilers and runs this on-site power plant. Under uh, normal conditions, we'd be able to save around $1,000 a day by uh, selling that power back to, to uh, Nevada Energy. Burning the sludge powder could create just as much energy, cutting into the $3 million a year power bill here. The lab setup makes batches of powder, but this summer they'll have a setup at the sewage plant that makes fuel continuously. Researchers think they can make this technology available for worldwide use in about two years. Covering the story, Brandon Ritterman, Channel 2 News.